Hi everyone, I'm just off out to a friend of mine's house to do some filming. Um, I've got a new channel now which um, I'll put down below, I'll link in the description uh, down below this video so go and have a look there and it's where I'm going to be starting to put all my performance videos. Um, so on the violin now, every time I do a performance video of, of any song that I've, I've done, uh, my own composition or a cover or anything like that, I'm going to be putting the tutorial, the violin tutorial to that on my main channel, um, the online piano and violin tutor, and then the performance video will be on my new performance channel which is going to be linked underneath. I'll link my other channel underneath as well so you, you know where you're going and everything. So I'm just off out to do that and I've just got loads of stuff in the back of my car. Um, this box that you can just see here is my green screen. Um, I've got all my camera equipment in the back there. I'm just going to a friend who has a garage because um, obviously I need room to put the green screen and I don't have anywhere, I don't have any kind of room in my house to, to put the green screen up properly enough so I can get the lighting and I can get the camera far back and that kind of thing. So she's kindly lent me her garage, so that's, so that's very nice of her. And I just thought I would just film the whole process. So I know some of you guys have asked how I do the filming and things. So it's kind of a behind the scenes of behind the scenes sort of thing. So I'm just off there now and um, yeah, I'll see you when I get there. Hi again. So um, everything is set up now uh, in the garage. I'm just gonna show you what I've got. So. Um, first of all, this is the tripod here that I'm going to be using to put uh, this camera that you're looking at on now so you can see. Um, this camera here we've got set up, this is the camera um, that I use, the Canon uh, EOS 650D, there it is. So that's, that's the camera that I use there and the lens and I've got a Rode microphone that I have at the top. Um, and what we've done is we've just got a black backdrop here and we've got a light that you can see over there that's going to be sort of creating more kind of ambient lighting. That's the chair that I'm going to be sitting on. Then what we've done at the front, if I go around to the front so you can actually see, we've just got kind of a reflective wall there just to help with the lighting and another light at the front there just so it's here just so you can see me. There's the camera. I've just got a bit of sheet music there that I may or may not be using um, and some more stuff on the floor. And then what I actually do to do the recording with when I'm actually shooting. So I'll press record on the camera and then I've just got an iPod down here with the recording that I've obviously done in my recording studio at home and two little speakers there. So the sound will come out of there. For example, um, this one of the songs that I'm gonna be doing is All, All Of Me by John Legend. So that's where that comes out of there. And then I play along with that. So it makes it easier to sync it up with the, the video. Otherwise, you know, I'm not gonna know what's gonna be going on. So, that's going to be playing along with it, and then actually, when I've when I've when I've done the filming and I'm happy with the filming, I might do. Um, I'll have a shot where I've got the camera at the front of me, and I might actually do a shot where I've got the camera sitting behind me, and um, uh, we'll we'll set the lights up again, um, just so it looks really nice from the front. And then I've got something to to cut away with, rather than just having the one kind of um, you know camera shot at the start. It can just be a little bit boring. Um, so I'm going to get on and do some filming now, and I'm going to set the camera up. Okay over there just behind so you can actually see the process it's like filming myself doing some filming which is really weird to do so um yeah anyway so i'm going to get on and do that and yeah i'll see you soon
finished the other lot of filming and I've just had a quick costume change so I just have this top on now and we've set up the green screen which is behind um let me just show you how I've done all of that so we've um we did have a black screen so we've set the green screen up as green screen up now and what we've done with that so we've put a we've got a softbox light that we've got at the back here and we've got another softbox light which is over here and that is shining light on the back of the green screen so we need the green screen it's just it's it's just a paper screen that we've got um kind of just obviously just hooked up on a on a three meter um pole there and we've just secured that in place at the top because otherwise the the screen the paper just keeps rolling down forever more and everything so you need to keep the green screen completely flat so you can see there's no crinkles there's no wrinkles or i don't know anything like that in there and i only needed it to go down as far as the bottom because i'm only going to be showing my top half so i'm not going to be doing the whole kind of floor length thing so let me go back to the back of the green screen so you can see what i've got at the front here so they're the two softbox lights, softbox lights that are going to be throwing light on the back of the green screen to keep that nice and even. And there's the other one. And then what I've got up here are two kind of um, white lights. I use them in my studio when I'm doing my regular videos. So these ones here. So they throw a, not the hexagonal thing that you see here, just these ones here. Let me come around this way because there's so much light. So these throw a white light on everything. And I like using these because... Um, you'll notice in the earlier videos that I might have done, um, I might have looked a little bit yellow, a little bit sallow in some of the videos because I was using my halogen lights above me. Um, but these ones are now white lights, so they throw a really nice, it's just like filming in the daylight, but obviously you can't always film outside, you can't always film it, uh, in the daylight, and obviously when it comes to the winter time as well, the lighting is just rubbish. So I've got two of those, which you can just see over there, I know it's probably very bright, so I'm just going to move around, and we've got another one of these soft boxes here that is just going to help throw a little bit of light to the right hand side of me, so I can see myself in the camera, <laughs> here um which is going to be weird seeing myself film in the camera okay so this is the camera that i'm using again which is the same as yesterday i've just taken my starburst filter off because if you come around this way so this is what this is the view that the camera is going to be seeing um and oh i've still got my road microphone that i'm using here um this is what it's seeing so you can see there's a nice even light on the green screen here and these front two lights so this one here and this one here is going to be throwing light on me and then I've just got my violin on the floor and my, um, there's my violin and there's the tape that we've got here so I know where to stand because we've just put it into focus because I can't use autofocus if you use autofocus because I move around too much in the performance it's just, it's just focusing like anybody's business and it's so annoying when it does that um, and then you've got this green screen behind, it would just be a complete <clears throat> just a nightmare excuse me and then I've just got my two little speakers and I've just got my iPod so the film um the film the piece of music that I'm going to be playing for this is actually a composition that I wrote and it's based on a film score so think back to the future think Indiana Jones the piece is called anything is possible if it's available and I've done it then I'll put a link in the description bar directly underneath this video and it'll be linked to my shop so you can buy the back and track you'll be able to buy the sheet music and you'll be able to buy the whole kind of mp3 digital performance as well and then just that little thing there where my fingers point is my remote control so it saves me having to come up to the camera and keep pressing the record
completely done filming now. Um, as you've seen, I've, um, I just did a couple of other things as well, just because, um, I don't know, I just wanted to kind of make the most of the fact that I had the green screen here as well. So I just did a couple of announcement videos as well, announcing my, my new channel, my new performance channel, where you can get the, you can get the backing tracks to all the new performance videos that I'm going to be doing and the MP3 digital singles and all that kind of thing. So um, they'll all be in the, I'll, I'll link them all underneath and everything. So I'm done, I need to go and pack up. Um, I just have a cup of tea sitting on the table, which I'm gonna actually have now um, that my friend has made me. So I'm just gonna drink that, pack everything up because I've got my violin and all my lights to put back in um, and I need to help pack up the green screen and all that kind of stuff. So uh, thanks for watching this this uh, this video. Let me know if you like this kind of thing. I don't, um, I never normally kind of vlog. This is only the second kind of vlogging video that I've done and it's probably really rubbish compared to all the other really good ones that are out there just because I'm just not used to talking to a camera and everything. Um, so it's quite strange for me but let me know if you like these sort of videos. If you like them I'll do more of them. So thanks very much for watching for um, any of you that might be watching this video. Um, maybe you'll see me do some more. Um, if not go and check out all the videos, my, my new performance videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!